Hi guys, it's Sukrit from STEM Coder and today we're going to talk about how to find the area and the perimeter of a square. So a square is quite simply the simplest geometric shape out there. It consists of four sides all of equal lengths. All four of these angles are also equal. So really simple, simplest shape out there. You probably see thousands of them every day. So the perimeter of a square is simply equal to the side length times four. Why? Because the length of the side of a square is known as the side length, and how many sides are there? One, two, three, four. So since all the sides are of equal lengths, you simply take the length of one side and multiply it by four to find the area of the square. So let me write that down. Perimeter, side length, times four. Yep, relatively simple four sides of equal length, so to find the perimeter, which is the distance around the square, basically the sum of all the sides, simply equal to the side length times four. Now the area is also relatively simple. It's simply the side length times itself, times side length. So this over here, that means the area of a square is simply equal to the side length times the side length. It's simply a rule that you have to understand it. The areas of more, way more complicated shapes are often derived from these two really simple formula and make sure that you know these two really well because you'll be using them thousands of times in the future. So let's do a quick practice problem to calculate the area and perimeter of a square. So I have this square over here. The side length is 5. So the perimeter of the square, which is basically the sum of the lengths of the sides, the distance around the square, is equal to, is equal to 5, which is the length, length of the side, times 4. And what is that? 20. And now, to find the area of the square, area equal to the side length which is 5 times itself 5 times 5 which is 25 so, so many of you may also know what it's like to square a number so when a number is squared it means it's multiplied by itself and that name kind of comes from the formula for the area of a square so if someone tells you what is 6 squared it's simply equal to 6 times 6 so when you square a number, imagine you're just trying to find the area of a square with that number being the side length. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. Feel free to do some of the practice problems on our website. I hope to see you in future lessons.